Hi students, let us continue with the topics, the pointers. Uh, in the previous video, I explained about the pointer initialization, declaration and accessing the pointers. Now let us see what is the pointers and arrays. What is the uh, difference between this uh, pointers and arrays? So we know that pointer is a variable which holds the address of another variable. So it it holds the address of another variable whereas array is a group of elements share the common name that you call it as array so what is the relationship between here here the array will share the group of elements and whereas a pointer holds the address of the another variable let us see a continuous memory locations are allocated continuous memory location or allocated for all the elements for all the elements of the array by the compiler so the compiler will do all this work the compiler will allocate uh, continuous memory allocation for the all the elements of the array and the base address so base address is a starting address of the array the base address is the location of the first element that is index 0 the first element is represented with index 0 of the array So, continuous memory allocation, location or allocated for all the elements of the arrays by the compiler. So, here the pointer is allocating uh, continuous memory locations for all the elements in the array. So, here uh, the base address in the location of the first element of the array is starting with index 0. So, that everyone is knows. So, let us see the example. The normal array declaration and initialization is int data type. A. A is the array name having a five elements that are stored in that particular memory location which is named as A. So this int array of five elements are 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Okay. So here these, are, these five elements are stored as let me write this. Here are the elements, values, and address so how it they are stored elements are a of 0 a of 1 these are the indexes so in a of 0 the 10 value will be stored like that a of 2 a of 3 and a of 4 and what are the values for this a of 0 is 10 in 0 index the 10 value will be stored in at 1 20 30, 40, 50. Then what will be the addresses? Suppose if the base address we have taken the 1000. 1000 this is you call it as a base address. The starting address of an array is the base address. So if the base address is of 1000. So then what will be the address of the next uh, location? Because we are using the int data type. The size of each byte is it occupies two bytes of memory location so 1002 is the next address 1004 1006 and 1008 so here it is we are using the integer data type it occupies two bytes of memory location for each value that stores in the memory so that's why 1000 1002 1004 1006 and 1008 so the big here a is equal to ampersand a of 0 means this ampersand represents the address of a of 0. What is the address of a of 0? That is 1000. So here this is an array. Array holds the address of that means uh, that you call it as a point. Let me write if p declared as integer if we, if 
P declared as integer point. Then the array A can be pointed by. So if P declared as integer point. Then the array A can be pointed as P is equal to A. What is this? P is equal to A. Or you can also represent the pointer, integer pointer is equal to ampersand of A of 0. Means the address location of the first element will stored in the pointer variable. So the pointer variable always holds the address of another variable the okay so the pointer always holds the address of another variable so it holding the address of another variable so what is another variable a so a particular address will stored in the pointer variable so that is a thousand is stored in the p p is equal to thousand okay so come to the next point pointer and variable Every value of A can be assigned by using P++. So, in the array pointer and array concept, every value of A means every value of A of 0, A of 1, A of 2 like that can be accessed. Access, accessed by using P++. Because to move from one element to another element, we have to increment the pointer. So, whenever you increment the pointer, suppose P is equal to ampersand of address of A of 0. So, if you want to go to the next location, uh, the address of the next element, the pointer has to be incremented. That is P++. Next, it goes to the ampersand A of 1. The address of the next element will store here. Again, P, o, P++ is nothing but P plus 1. Again, P plus 2 address of a of 2 like that so every element of a can be accessed by using p plus plus that point you have to be noted so when pointer is incremented its value is in increased by the size of the data type that it points to so here the length the one thing you have to be note that the length of data type you call it as a scale factor. So, this scale factor term you have to be remembered because when you are calculating the address of that particular uh, array, the element in an array, you have to know that scale factor. Scale factor is nothing but the length of the data type, the size of a data type that points to. Suppose if you are using the int data type, the size should be 2. Suppose if you are using the float data type, the size is 4, like that. So, that you call it as a scale factor. Now, let us see the next point. The relationship between P and A. So, P is a pointer and A is an array. So, what is the relationship between P and A? Let me write. P is equal to ampersand A of 0. Means the P is a pointer variable which holds the address of the in base ad, uh, starting address of an array. So, starting address will store in the pointer. Next, P plus 1 is equal to ampersand A of 1. Address of the second variable will store in P plus 1. P plus 2, address of the second element, third element. So, 0, 1, 2. P plus 3, ampersand A of 3. So, here the value is incremented. That is a particular memory location. It identifies the particular memory location. So, P plus 4, ampersand A of 4. Okay. So, what P is equal to ampersand A of 0 means the address of the A of 0 is, in the previous example, it is 1000. So, we are using the integer data type. So, the value will be scale factor is, in, is 2. P plus 1, 1002. So, the value of P plus 1 is equal to 1002. P plus 2, 1004. P plus 3, 1006. P plus 4, 1008. So, this is a relationship between the pointer and the array. So, whenever the pointer value is incremented, 
it moves to the next memory location in the array. So, array holds the group of elements. So, these are the group of elements which share the common name A of the same data type. So, everyone is having the same data type. That continuous location is shows, saves the, uh, stores in the same data type. Now, coming to the next point. Address of an element is calculated. So, here we have seen the relationship between the pointer and the variable, uh, sorry, pointer and the array. Now, let us see how to calculate address of an element. So, I want to find out an uh, A of 0 address. Suppose, I want to find out an A of 2 address. How we can calculate randomly? Let us see. Address of an element is calculated using its index so if you want to calculate the address of a particular element you know about its index at the same time the scale factor of data type the scale factor of data type so i already said the scale factor is nothing but the size of a data type whatever you are using so if you want to calculate a particular element address you need to know the index of that element and the scale factor of data type if you know these two terms then you can calculate address of an element let us see an example example Suppose address of 3 I want, address of array of 3, I want address of array of 3. So what is it, how we can calculate. So first the formula for calculating the address of array of 3 is first you know the base, you want to know the base address, means the starting address of an array, that is the index one, at base address plus 3 into scale factor scale factor of int data type so why i have mentioned 3 because i am calculating the array 3 so if you are using the 4 if you want to find out the address of the uh, 4 a of 4 you have to write here 4 into scale factor if you want to find out the address of the 2 you have to write the base address plus 2 into scale factor of int so that is this is how you have to calculate the address of an element so, what is the base address in the previous example? Starting base address is 1000 plus 3 into, what is the scale factor of int? 2. So, 1000 plus 3 to the 6. That is 1006. So, A of 3 base address is 1006. Is it okay, clear? Address of A of 3. Address of the element A of 3 is 1006. This is how you have to calculate the address of an element. So, you have to know about the index and scale factor of a data type. Now, let us see the next point. So, what will be the next point? So, we had seen the relationship between P and A and I explained the how to calculate the address of a particular element. Now, instead of using the array index, Instead of using array indexing, pointer can be used to access array. Access array, etc. How it is possible? So, instead of using an array indexing, pointer can be used to access array. Let us see how it is possible. So, this is a pointer. So, P plus 3 indicates the address of uh, address of the third element, fourth element, ampersand A of 3 is nothing but the P plus 3. P plus 3 is address of A of 3. So, what, how can you access uh, array by using the pointer? Pointer P plus 3 gives value of A, A of 3. So, whenever you mention the pointer P plus 3, it gives the value of A, not the address. So, P plus 3 gives address of A of 3. That is, ampersand A of 3. Whereas, pointer 
pointer p plus 3 gives value of a of 3. So, if you want to directly, if you want the value of a of 3 element, then you have to represent pointer p plus 3. So, this is a pointer can be used access array. If you want to access the array element directly, you need to represent like this pointer p plus 3. So, the formula for this is a of i is equal to pointer p plus i which gives the value of a of i. So, don't be confused. Whenever you represent the pointer symbol, it represents the value of an element. Whenever you represent the pointer, it represents the address of an element. Don't be confused. P represents the address of another variable. Pointer P represents value of another variable. So, that is the difference between this P address of another variable, pointer P value of another variable. Okay. So, let us see the another, uh, the program for this uh, how pointers and arrays. Let me write the program. So, hash include stdio.h and uh, main. So, here I am declaring int of array 5. Okay. So, I am declaring the pointer variable pointer p comma i. Printf enter 5 elements. So, if you are using the array concept, uh, it's uh, you have to use the for loop. For i is equal to 0 because you have to access each element. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, if you want to access each element, you have to use the for loop. For i is equal to 0, i less than 5, i plus plus, scanf, percentile d, address of a of 5. So, I am reading the address of a of i. After that, P is equal to address of A of 0. Means the starting address of the uh, array will be stored in the pointer variable P. So, whenever it is incrementing, uh, the address of the next location will be occurred. So, how it is possible? Let us see. Printf. Elements of array or Let me write here. For i is equal to 0, i less than 5, i plus plus. Here, printf, percentile d, pointer p of i. So, I said it gives the value of that address uh, location. Close the main program. So, this is a program. Here, what it is saying? Here, we have taken an array concept array and this is the pointer so first we are printing the uh, elements of an array we are just entering the values from the keyboard okay so whatever the values that are entering from the keyboard those are stored in the particular memory location and those values will be print on the screen so here the values of that array will be print on the screen so the output of this program is first enter 5 elements that is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So, the output is elements of array or 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Okay. So, this is about the pointers and array concept. Thank you.